Like, there's a story in the film about you went to a party and on one couch was, I think, Marlon Brando, James Dean, and was it Paul Newman? Paul Newman, yes. And Paul... And, well, Paul became a great friend and Marlon became a friend. Not a great friend, but quite friendly. He used to come over to my house at my flat and um, he would go and say, anything to eat? I said, yeah, there's some stuff in the fridge. And he would go in and eat every jar of ice cream because <laughs> I only had ice cream in the fridge. <laughs> and he would eat it all, which is why he got a little... <laughs> <laughs> but he wasn't... You know, he's known as this great actor, but he, he wasn't that keen on it. No, we... Cos I was totally impressed. I mean, I'm 20 when I go to Hollywood. I, I think I was very brave. I got into a huge plane, went to New York, had to stay overnight, change into another plane to go to L.A., and then I didn't know a single soul there except a makeup man that I'd worked with. And um, so I talked to Marlon Brando, terrifying, but adored him, and I said, well, you know, I, I, when did you get your love of acting? He said, I hate effing, and he did an expertise and said, acting. I said, you hate it? He said, yeah, I just do it for the money. I don't like it. He said, it's just a lot of, you know, stupid people dressing up and making faces in front of the camera. He was very... Uh, but, I mean, he was such a great actor. Yeah. So um, I did a few more kowtows and <laughs> you're so fabulous and how can you do that? But he was very down to earth and then he... <laughs> Then he went upstairs with my sister, Jackie, who was only 18. Yes, I know. <laughs> that that story, that story took a turn. That's story. I'm just, I'm just so glad she was 18. <laughs> <laughs> yes.